This is yet another video on a tool in a toolbox that isn't used very much because not many people know how it works. And that is the perspective clone tool. And it's really very simple and I'm going to show you how it works. Um, what I want to do is clone this pen here and make it uh, lie in front here. So first of all, when I have the perspective clone tool selected, I need to make sure that modify perspective is ticked. And then we're going to make the perspective. In the corners you see the perspective thingy here, like, oh, can't see the corner here. And you need to drag them. There you go. To the perspective of, in this case, come on, the tablet here. I'm not quite sure this is the correct perspective because this is the perspective of the tablet, but it's not the perspective of the way we are viewing the image. But so I'm thinking maybe this is not quite right. But for the purpose of showing you how this tool works, I'm just going to pretend this is completely perfectly fine. Okay, now next step we need to do, now we have established what the perspective of this image is, or at least think we did, um, is go to the perspective clone here, tick this. So now we're going to clone this, see, okay, the clone this pen and put it here. Very simple. And one thing I want to say is that uh, when you are cloning, be it the normal clone tool or the heel tool or the perspective clone tool, you have four options, non-aligned, registered and fixed. And I like to use aligned when I need to clone an object because then you don't have to keep your mouse button pressed. You can just continue and have a rest halfway in between and maybe undo something you already did. So um, what uh, you need to do is press control on your clone source and then click and then you make your clone source and now I'm gonna put it down here and color it in, can do it quickly and not so neat and you're just gonna have to pretend that this is done very well and not sloppy at all and as you can see now the um, pen looks much much bigger on the foreground than it does in the middle here so that's what the perspective clone tool does. It clones in uh, an object so it looks fine in perspective. Because normally if you would clone it normally and put the pen down here, it would have the same size as this pen here. And that wouldn't be right because it should look bigger when it's closer to you in the image. Same thing we can do with this um, mouse here, make a clone source, and then gonna put the mouse down here. Okay, I'm doing a very sloppy job, but you get the drift here. As you can see, the mouse is much smaller because it's further away from the site. And that's what the perspective clone tool does. Okay, if you like my video, subscribe, because I've got some more ideas on new ones.